Welcome to WatchMojo UK and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British celebs who sued the tabloids. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most talked about Brits who had both successful and unsuccessful battles with the press. Which do you think is the craziest celeb versus tabloids drama? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Sarah, Duchess of York In 2010, Sarah Ferguson, Prince Andrew's ex-wife, was part of a major scandal. Filmed by an undercover News of the World reporter, the Duchess was recorded saying she would offer him access to Prince Andrew and his investment decisions in exchange for £500,000. Fergie then went on to sue the group for £45 million in damages as she claimed that the scandal not only hurt her reputation, but also lost her a tremendous amount of business. Fergie's main argument was that the news of the world used deceitful ways to get unguarded statements to her detriment. Number 9. Russell Brand In 2013, British newspaper The Sun reported that Russell Brand cheated on his girlfriend Jemima Khan. According to the article, he was in an entanglement with Sophie Cordy. Well, Brand was having none of it and wrote to the newspaper stating this was false information. However, they refused to retract it, which resulted in a lawsuit. Brand won the case and although the exact settlement isn't clear, rumours have it he got about five figures out of the whole situation. Brand later announced he will donate the money to the Hillsborough Justice Campaign an organisation helping the victims of the disaster that crushed 96 football fans. Number 8. Tom Ellis Yep, Mr Morningstar himself had a battle with the tabloids. This one dates back to 2014, when the Sunday Mirror published a statement saying Ellis was failing to provide child support payments to his ex-wife. The article went as far to say that Ellis didn't have enough money and claimed that his ex-wife threatened him with lawyers. Ellis sued them for defamation and publication of private, sensitive information. Ellis's lawyer stated that such statements are not only false, but deeply upsetting for his client as it involves his children. The Sunday Mirror publishers have since apologised for the article. Number 7. Charlotte Church Welsh singer Charlotte Church was a victim of the phone hacking scandal back in 2005. News of the World hired a private detective, Glenn Mulcair, and released shocking information about Church and her family. They then threatened her mother with the story of her husband's affair and stated that they won't publish it if she admits to an exclusive interview. Church claims that they did this despite knowing her mother attempted to take her own life not long before. Church sued News of the World and the private detective and won £600,000 in damages. Number 6. Jude Law in 2012, Law was awarded £136,000 after his court battle with newsgroup newspapers, NGN. The company published a total of 16 articles in several tabloids. Law stated that the articles illegally exposed his private information, which was obtained through the infamous phone hacking scandal. Alongside, the court revealed that it was actually Law's immediate family member who sold his private information to the press. NGN admitted that they misused his information but didn't elaborate any further. It's unclear if anything happened to the mentioned family member, but one thing's for certain, don't mess with the law. Jude Law, that is. Number 5. David Walliams British actor and comedian David Walliams sued Mirror Group newspapers, MGN, for illegally intercepting his voicemails. MGN had allegedly accessed voicemails belonging to Walliams, his family members and people associated with him without permission. The company then proceeded to share the information in a total of 45 articles between the years of 2003 and 2010. Walliams argued that the newspaper had breached his right to privacy under the Human Rights Act 1998. His lawyer stated that this information had a drastic effect on both Walliams' personal life and his career. Walliams won the lawsuit and the company publicly apologised for their actions. Number 4. Sienna Miller In 2021, Miller won a substantial amount of money against newsgroup newspapers. The publisher agreed to pay her substantial damages for hacking her phone and leaking private information about her in the sun. Miller took legal action against the tabloid in order to protect her right to privacy. 
Miller said that the tabloid and the news group newspapers company almost ruined her life and shattered her. The Sun even published confidential medical information and intimate details about her life. Before knowing about the phone hacking scandal, she was convinced her family and friends had sold her information to the press. Number 3. Kate Winslet Back in 2009, Kate Winslet won £25,000 after taking the Daily Mail to court for publishing a false story about her. After revealing her exercise regime, Winslet claimed that the tabloid accused her of lying about it. According to Winslet, they were implying that she had been deceitful in her claims about her body and lifestyle, but Winslet wasn't having any of it. She stated that she had a responsibility to fight the tabloid in court in order to stand by her beliefs about body positivity. Winslet also added that she appreciated the tabloid's apology and affirmed how important it is that women practice self-acceptance. Number 2. Kira Knightley in 2007, Knightley won £3,000 in damages against the Daily Mail. The tabloid accused her of having an eating disorder and inadvertently stated that the look of her body played a part in the passing of a young anorexia sufferer. Knightley, who is known to preach body acceptance and self-love, stated that the eating disorder allegations were false. Knightley's lawyer confirmed that the money won from the lawsuit was donated to an eating disorder and mental illness charity. Knightley reportedly praised the court for holding tabloids responsible for how they are approaching sensitive issues such as eating disorders. Number 1. Prince Harry Prince Harry took the tabloids to court several times over the past few years. In 2022, he won a settlement against the Mail on Sunday for publishing an article accusing Prince Harry of keeping secrets of his battles over reinstating his police protection. A year before that, the same tabloid published a story claiming Prince Harry is no longer loyal to the Royal Marines. He also took on the Daily Mail over an alleged privacy breach. Each time, Prince Harry was able to win a settlement and showed that he's definitely not the one to be messed with when it comes to the slandering of his image. 